checking our notes and, and I think getting even better at this as we move forward. And we're taking it seriously, we're going to make a difference. We've got 11 million people in the state of Ohio. If only half of them are, are at the table, then we're only going to be half as powerful as we can who we could be is then if everybody has the opportunity to participate and everybody feels invited and feels a part of this technology-based economy that is coming our way, like it or not, and Ohio has to be at the forefront and has to take a leadership role. And we have to make sure that our population, every single person, is empowered with the tools that they need to succeed. So thank you all very much for what you're doing. I am very excited about being here today, and I am more excited about it than I even knew I would be until I came here. The state of Ohio is unique in that it's forming public and private partnerships with grassroots organizations within these different pockets of uh, communities and ecosystems to really support entrepreneurship on um, multiple facets. We're so excited to see them here in Cincinnati, and I hope that this is going to be a model that can be replicated throughout the state of Ohio and help us to move to the forefront of diversity and inclusion for tech and all entrepreneurs. Black Hack is a social enterprise network for minority-led entrepreneurs. We're basically uh, creating a movement for entrepreneurs to get access to capital, access to networks, uh, building a pipeline through institutional funds. Uh, we're ecosystem developers. Uh, we're you know bringing and connecting all the communities, uh, creating diversity and inclusion in the startup space. I mean, we started Black Hack because uh, me and my brother we had our own startup. Um, you know, we were getting into the space, very interested in technology. Uh, we've always been entrepreneurs and hustlers at heart, so we've always had a knack for business and starting things. Um, and, you know, this was a, a whole new level of business. Uh, it took a lot of work. Uh, we, you know, we had to do a lot of research to get into this space. We launched it in Columbus a year ago. Uh, we've launched uh, Cleveland, and now we're launching Cincinnati. It's important for us to bridge the gap in all of Ohio, uh, connecting all the resources and the networks. So the state of Ohio has, has championed um, diversity and inclusion and they realize that they have a secret sauce uh, here in the state. We are growing fantastic companies uh, with diverse founders. They've noticed that um, and are now making an investment um, in communities across the state uh, with their first investment in diversity and inclusion efforts being the Hillman Accelerator. Of all VC investments, only 1% of African Americans are part of that, um, that scope. So, and then if you look at women who are in tech, black women in tech, only 0.3% um, are getting VC funding. So it's important that we make investments um, in companies with diverse founders, not only from a social good perspective, uh, but also just from the perspective that we know that companies with diverse founders um, have a greater return on investment.